on Nigeria, I say make I come back to only a Mosali, no let me rest. Anyways, shoot ways for two o'clock. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Baby Niger just vlog. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Baby girl Fina awake by 2 a.m. for a shoot. <laughs> my dear, no sleep or oh. wake up. <laughs> Money got to be made. Well done, well done. Fina came back yesterday from Cape Town and she's working already. <laughs> well done, dear. So, guys, speaking about accounts now, <clears throat> as we all know, Fina's account was hacked. Daniela's account deactivated. I don't even know. Like, I really do not know if it's deactivated or hacked. Okay? As at the time I'm making this video, Fina's new account is at 116,000. Why Daniela's new account is at eight thousand nine hundred and you know eighty six so guys if you know you are a fan of any of these ladies Daniela the brand Fina Unusual please do well to come through for them go and follow them repost if you have to okay because me personally I've done that on my own community all right that being said I I, I noticed Finishons are not happy because all through Day before yesterday and yesterday when i mean yesterday like early hours of yesterday like afternoon nobody has said anything when i mean nobody none of the housemates has said anything about you know trying to repost fina's new account and it, it seemed a bit strange i'm like is everybody against fina now what is the problem but thankfully some of them came through and you know started posting finishers are not happy because when Daniela, you know, made posts consigning a new account, some housemates, like, almost immediately went ahead to you know, do what? Started following, you know, um, Daniela and started reposting it, okay? Why some only posted for Daniela and did not repost for Fina? So... Finishers were not happy about it. They were saying a lot of things, saying they are the only one that that, that likes Fina and all of that. I understand the point. So, guys, for clarification, let me give you the list of housemates that have reposted about Fina's new account. First of all, Groovy Mono is the very first person that did that. Hello Swag. Brian, you heard me. Brian has reposted it on his Insta. Deji. Christy O, Sarkis, Rachel, Doni, Farm Savvy, Chomzy, Shags, Hermes, Allison. Okay, so guys, let me give you the list of the housemaid that reposted about Daniela. Doni, Beauty, Allison, Modella. Deji, Brian, Sarkis, Saif, Rachel, Elo Swag, Chomzy, Khalid. Yeah, you heard that. Khalid reposted for Daniela. Elo Swag and Groovy. Yes, you heard me. Groovy reposted for Daniela also. First of all, not all housemates reposted daniela's new account not all housemates some of them did but not all okay second of all some persons posted both daniela and fina at the same time thirdly some persons if not most of them posted only daniela then after some hours, they now posted for Fina. Okay? This is just the point I want to get out there first. So that we can continue our, you know, gist. Finations are not happy. Some of them, you know, is somehow your 
co housemate is going through challenge and none of them did anything but thankfully they've done it but i'm still surprised about bella bella has not posted anything about fina's new account i'm surprised i don't know why this is not to bring Daniel, uh, bella in any bad light but why has she like she has not posted this girl from what we've seen is Bella's bestie and she has not done anything. I know she's online because yesterday she made posts on her Insta. She even gave us video of her being on the plane. So why hasn't she posted this Fina's new account? I really don't know why, but somehow I'm disappointed because you supposed to be Fina's manest manest person, but thankfully Shakes has posted um, Fina's account, but I did not see him post for Daniela, and I love what Groovy did yesterday. Groovy was the only guy that first reposted for Fina, and thankfully he later reposted for Daniela. I think early hours of this morning. That's very amazing, okay? I see some Fee Nations, you know, cussing out Sarkis, insulting him because he posted for Daniela first, then after some hours, he now posted for Fina. I understand the plight. I understand. I understand your point. But the main goal is for this housemate to repost, and some of them are doing it already. To be honest, some persons were cursing him out. I think I need to read out <laughs> some of the response. Somebody said, Finishon, stop thanking him. He is just waking up since yesterday. I'll be what's the meaning of thank you under this post. Another person said, Rest in Jesus' name. Some people don't sleep on social media. Another person said, If you want to post, if you want to post Daniela, post in peace. It's not today. Final loss gets account because I don't understand what this person saying. Another person said, Who we'll send you a message? Curse. Hypocrite and all this finish on thanking him. Make an arrest in Jesus' name. At least he posted. Please, is it until you guys push people away from Fina till you get satisfied? It is page. He can choose to post Fina or not. So let's be grateful what he did. We are not entitled to his page. Okay? Why some persons were just saying thank you, Sarkis, thank you, Sarkis, and all of that. So guys, what is your thoughts concerning this information? So guys, moving on. We all knew that when Fina's account was down, Later, we got news about Daniela's account being down also. And with the way some Fee Nations were posting on their Twitter saying that if Fina's account is not restored, they are going to take down the rest of 27 housemates' account down. All right. So Daniela's brother now came up and he's so angry. He has a lot to say. <laughs> He said, my sister's IG account is down right now. We are doing our best to get it back up and running. Believe she's not down. They can't hold her down. Hopefully, people will learn to respect others. He went further to say, Daniela the brand is my sister's backup. Let's use it, please, and get her back. So sorry. He went ahead to say, Fina Nation did this, and he tagged Fina. Fina knew this was going on and decided to say nothing out of anger for her own. Because we don't have much a voice, people, get, people forget where they started from. God is in control. He went ahead to say, we ridiculous, toxic fan and people... You left the reality show game. Leave and be doing nonsense. Carrying beef. 
very immature. And he went ahead to post a chat or chats where Fe Nations are deliberating about how to bring down some housemate accounts, okay? He went ahead and said, I leave this here. If you like, insult me. And he tagged unusual Fina. He later said, I love this. Come with your drag. You don't know I love it. Or more, Fe Nations dragged this guy. They said all manner of things to him. It was a lot. He was a lot. The guy did not give up all because he was almost replying to everybody. He went ahead to say, All right, Fina Nation, I'm tired. Got to get back to work. Love to do this again sometime. Love and lies. Thank you for the past two hours at Unusual Fina, Fina Nation. It was fun. I understand Daniela's brother's plight. Because, you know, I, just like I said in some of my previous video, I said some bringing up this kind of tweet, it does not make it, it will just make the matter worse. Let's just focus on Fina. You people did not hear. You were saying you bring down some people's account. You, you people, some persons went ahead and said reporting housemate account. Now the account is down. Even if you guys are not responsible. But due to the fact that this information is out, they will hold it against the people, though. But at the end of the day, we still don't know who is behind all of this. Okay? So, his points are valid. But one thing I dislike is him tagging Fina in all of this. Fina did not tell anybody to go and, you know, report any account. Fina did not tell anybody to bring down anybody's account. So, you know, tagging Fina, in my own opinion, did not make sense, okay? You could have just come up, you know, tweet all of these things, and the message will still be passed. So, tagging Fina into it, you know, Jig, to my own opinion, you can say yours, okay? And trust finishers now. They came massively for this guy. <sighs> hey, look, at one person's tweet got to me. He said, but do you know you are a failed brother, sir? He even put sir. <laughs> you didn't defend her when she was sharing Apuna in the house. All the guys she gave Apuna to. She has left her. Has left her. Instead of you to focus on that, you are here saying trash without evidence. So the guy responded and said, Okay, sending your way. Do you want some Puna as well? Or... You deprived. It's actually funny. <laughs> we are talking about account. We are talking about uh, the Puna activities Daniela did in the house. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, some Finnations reacted and said, If Finnation will try to even bring down somebody's account down, Daniela is the least person we can think of. I bet stop this, your <clears throat> account. If if you want to be relevant, find ways to get it, not with your sister, 2K followers. All right. So, so, this, so this reason you concluded is finished. Wake up, Joe. Anybody can do this to bring it to Fina and fans. Anyways, when I get, when I go there, all right, eventually. Chichi's mom is a local Ashawa that stands in Fege in Onicha. What Chichi's mentally challenged father did not know was that Chichi's mother was already HIV infested when they met. They slept together. Thank you. Please Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. So, when Chichi's mentally challenged dad met Chichi's Ashawo mom, who stands in Fege on a chair. You can insult to be her, but with um, the parents and things, please calm down. You are telling me to calm down. I'm telling you a story now. Who is that person? Who is that okay. person? Okay. So, guys, finally, I understand the issue between Fina and Chichi. I watched the show. I knew what happened. 
Finance fans have said a lot of things. Churches fans have said a lot of things also. But what I would say is this. Focus on Chichi if you know you want to really fight Chichi. Focus on Fina if you know you really want to fight Fina. Dragging Chichi's parents, especially the late parents, to this madness is unacceptable, guys. You can say, like, I'm taking sides. I don't give an F. Coming to drag somebody's late parent to this nonsense does not make any point. It doesn't make any sense. Chichi did this, Chichi did that. Very valid. Fina did this, Fina did Very valid. Focus on the two ladies and leave their parents out of this. If tomorrow now Chichi's people come and start insulting Fina's fans, uh, Fina's parents, the people will not take it lightly. But you, some of you are here. It's, can you even imagine? You will not even believe that this woman, this is a full-blown woman. Even if you know their history. Even if you know their family. Is this something excited for you to come and use against another person? Is it that you people don't, some of you people don't have sense in me? Eh? Ha. Oh my, all this hatred is, 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 is on another level. Oh. He's, he's, he don't graduate. Focus on Chichi if you want to throw her for crying out loud and leave her late parent alone. Ah uh ah. -uh. These people are arrested. Do you know? Oh God. None of you that are calling Chichi's parent will accept somebody to insult your parent whenever you have issues with them. So why are you doing it to another person? It don't make sense now. Eh? Chichi, mom, how they type it. Is it your, is it your, is it your, is it your... Is it your it is not your story to tell. Eh? Oh, girl. What thing we know go fit take? We go just the poor of another person because of hate. Because, say, you, ha you want to support somebody. Fina's account is there. How many of you now they don't they repost that account? How many of you are doing everything possible? Now, to they cost another person parent. I bet more not get sense. So. Because this nonsense needs to stop. I really cannot wait for the new big brother to come so that all this nonsense will just fade off. Uh -uh. You can interpret what I said anyhow you want it. I don't even, I don't care. I like Fina. I like every of these housemates. I am not partial about anything. I stand, I am very neutral when it comes to anybody. And I'm doing everything possible to support Fina and Daniela at this point in time. Everybody. So if you want to say I'm taking sides, please type it already. But bringing Chichi's late parent into this thing is unacceptable. Fight Chichi if you want to fight her. Throw her if you want to throw her. Drag her if you have to. Okay? Go ahead and do that. But take her parent out of this madness. 